Hello, I am Devanjan from Informatica MDM support team. Welcome to Informatica support videos. Today our topic is how to call any CMX procedure from SQL developer or Toad in MDM 9.5.1 and earlier version. This is applicable for any of the hotfixes of MDM 9.5.1 and earlier. So the agenda for this video is where can I find the procedures? things to take care during calling the procedures third is I will show you a small demo that how to call a procedure from your SQL developer first one is where can I find the procedures to see the procedures available for the operations you need to connect to your CMX ORS database using SQL developer like that I have connected to my CMX ORS database that is the schema name is CMX lab and when I connect it I can see there is one tab packages inside that there are several packages are there and inside each and every packages there are several procedures like to see the procedures right click on any of the package and click on profile you will see the list of procedures like put like update overlapping periods get xref test score etc so this is the space where you can see the pro procedures available to know that under which package which procedures are available please go through the informatica mdm configuration guide for that version or please raise a support ticket so that we can guide you to see, find out the same the next agenda next agenda for this uh, video is uh, things to take care during calling the procedures there are actually three things we need to take care when we will call a procedure from our SQL developer or toad the first one is we need to take care is from which package we will take the procedure so that I as I already told that you need to know that under which package your procedure is present and uh, through the informatica configuration uh, configuration guide or we can help you to find you that one so this is the first one second thing you need to take care is when you will call the procedure from your sql developer or toad please make sure that you are passing the input and output parameters in the correct order like here we are passing first in row id system then row id table stage table name like that then it's coming the output parameters out error message out return key then again we are passing some input parameters so like the way it is showing here you need to pass in the same order when you will call it from the sql developer or toad the third thing we need to take care is the parameter type like here the parameter type for in row id system is character 14 in stage table name is varchar 230 when you will pass the parameters you should maintain the same parameter types so that there will be no mismatch in between them otherwise it will throw a error this is actually the three thing we need to take care when we will call the procedures now I will show you a demo on how to call the procedure from SQL developer here I have already written a piece of code to call the procedure I will try to change the value of the C lookup table to this is a BO uh, it's already there in my CMX ORS so I will change the value of the row ID object to actually I will change the column value column name name value to something else I will see that what is that uh, current value here the current value of the name column is informatica corp so i want to change it to informatica corporation so to do this one i know i need to have a put call for this one and i already know that the put is available under the cmx package so i will go to the cmx package i will go to the put actually you can find uh, put one put two here so no need to take care about those things this will be take care about uh, with by the system based on your input parameters so 
now the second thing as i told earlier to take care about the parameter order like here we need to pass the same in row id system then in row id table then in receive key object key type cd i have maintained the same and the third thing i have taken care is the parameter type like character 14 character 14 like that whatever it is showing here how it is showing here i am passing as same as uh, that so after these things are perfect i need to pass the perfect values to update the bio of bio record the first thing i need to pass is in row id of system this is the row id system which we want to see as last row id system make sure that this row id system is available in your hub console you can verify that through c depots system table the next is in row id table there is a table in cmxrs c depots table so here we have the value of each and every table present in the cmx rs or in your rs will have one row id table value in this table so i am going to change the data in the c lookup table 2 so i need to find out the wh what is the row id table value of c lookup table 2 in the c repos table let's see what is the value there So our tab for our table, table name C lookup table 2, the row ID table value is SBR 123K. I am passing the same here. Next is in stage table name. We are not using any stage, so we will pass it null. Next is that receive key object, which is if I go to the our old record. we are giving we are giving the row id object which is the uh, unique parameter to update the value of the name column so we are giving it two next is the key type cd this key type cd will be r if we are passing receive key object as row id object this will be s if we are if we will uh, give the receive uh, key object as the p key source object of the record then we it will be s next is put column list this is the column which we are going to update so in our case we are going to apply update the name column value so we need to check what is the row id column of the name column so let's see there is one table c repos column which will tell us what is the row id column value for the name column we earlier we saw that our row id table value for this table is sbr 123k so i have filtered it out for that one now i will find the name column see here there is a name column here and the row id column value for the name column is sbr 120 so i will pass the same value there sbr 120 now we through a single put call we may update several values of the same table several column values for the same table so here we can use a separator like tilt to differentiate the column values and we can pass and also at the end of the column values all, all the columns we need to give another another tilt this is the end tilt so here i am just updating only one column so i just give the only one column row id column and then we i am giving the tilt next is the put value string to which value we want to give for that column so as i saw that uh, there is the already the value is informatica corp i will may change it to informatica and as applicable for the put column list here also we can separate the values based on the by giving us sep tilt separator so here i am actually updating only one column value so i am giving only one value and at the end a tilt next is the src lud this is the last source update date this would be the current date next is the username which user is updating this one 
I want to show admin user is updating this one so admin next is interaction ID for the operation this can be customized uh, from any of the uh, any of the sequence or you can use the uh, available sequence for given by Informatica next is look group str log group str you can just give it null next is bypass uind that is to skip the post load user exist if we give it one then it will not execute the post load uh, api after this call so we want to make it the post load api to execute so we give it zero next is period started period ended if the timeline is enabled for the bo then we we need to give those things to show in the as a timeline basis next is the call which we are making cmx lab is our ors name next is cmx is our package name and put is the procedure name and we are passing the data now i will execute this and we will let's see what is happening there it is telling anonymous box completed now let us see the record what is the value of the name column now the name column is updated as informatica what we are passing from here so this is all for the demo thank you for your time you can refer the kb articles available in the kb portal regarding the sample call procedures and also in some kb articles you can find that uh, under which uh, package which uh, procedures will be available if you don't find it in the informatica configuration guide thank you for your time have a nice day goodbye